I'm Jamisha, and I'm here with... London Ziggs. You already know who it is, baby. Hey! <laughs> and tell us what you do for our listeners. Yo, I make music, you know. I make R&B, rap, hip-hop. I'm working on a little country right now, you know, for my mixtape. <laughs> Mixtape's dropping real soon to come up mixtape. Look out for that. It's going to be available on every platform. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be live. You know, it's going to be lit. The best mixtape in the city. Yes. Okay. So, where are you from? I'm from Jamaica and New York, Albany. Like, you were born there? I was born in New York. Then I went to Jamaica for a bit. And then I came here at, like, around probably, like, I say six years old seven what made you guys move to canada uh you know in the states in that time it was pretty hectic you know we uh, i lost somebody close to me god rest his soul you know Aww. so that's why we came here because it was just a little too dangerous over there okay you know, my mom didn't want me living like that so i was like hey let's do it <laughs> you know let's do it yeah that's sick when and how did you first get involved in music how I got involved in music, it was basically, you know, something happened in my life. It really, like, took a toll on me. So I was like, you know what, like, I need some way to express this. And I was already, like, rapping and writing in high school, you know. Mm -hmm. So, like, I decided just to take it a step further. And I started doing music. It's been, like, two years now. You know, I'm just waiting on my moment, you know, my moment to ring my phone and be like, hey, Josh, you know, London Ziggs, you know, it's your time. Let's get it, you know. So I'm just waiting for that. I'm just waiting. What's that um, real life situation that inspired you? That real life situation? Well, it was a breakup, really. So that just happened. And then I just started writing even more. And I made one song. It's called One, you know. So that song is basically about what I've been through my whole life it took me a month about to write that yeah, song yeah to write it cause I was literally writing when everything when something bad would happen to me you know mm -hmm. so anytime something bad I just go to that song write it and then it just came out hella fire I was like damn you know <laughs> this this song fire that's great that's great um how did you come up with your stage name <laughs> London Ziggs how did I come with okay so I was in my room one night and I have a picture that mm -hmm. says London on it. Mm -hmm. And basically, one night I was doing what every Jamaican would do, you know, before going to sleep, you know, just just rolling in a little song, song, you mm -hmm. know. So like, <laughs> uh, I looked at the picture and I was like, oh, London, you know, I like that name. London's a fresh name. And I'm guessing you had the rolling paper zigzags, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. Before it was like London zags and London zigzags, and then I was like London zigs, and I'm like, oh. That's fresh. That's fresh. Yeah, it is. So then I started telling people about it, like, yo, what do you think of London Ziggs? They're like, yo, that's a dope name and stuff like that. So I just kept it. That's great. Um, explain your music in four words. My music in four words, meaning, substance, educational, and it doesn't make you dumb. Nah, nah, like, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Like, <laughs> nah, nah. I actually, like, make sense in my songs. I give you guys a story. Or I just spit bars, hard bars that like, you just never heard before, you know? Like, I don't like talking about uh, getting girls or popping these pills and stuff like that because it's not really helping me and it doesn't help the listener as well. Right. And also, I don't want the listener to be like, that. that's what the meaning of life is, you know? Just popping pills and getting girls and all that. Right. There has to be, like, a meaning behind what you do, you know? Yeah. And I feel like most artists these days I listen to, they don't really have a mean. They just talk about what they already got, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I'd rather have them talk about what they didn't have and how they got to get what they got, you know? Mm -hmm. um, my favorite song of yours is uh, Woodwork. Oh, Woodwork? Yeah. How did you come up with that? Like, <laughs> Yo, Woodwork was... That took me, I think, like, probably two days to write. Because, like, I, I really wanted that song to just be about the bars, you know? So... There were some heavy bars in that track, and like I was proud of myself when I wrote that. And I think it's like four minutes and thirty seconds long or mm -hmm. something like that. But yeah, it was, it, that's a dope song. Yeah, it I really like, is. <laughs> that's a dope song. Respect, <laughs> respect. So, um, the the eight one six mixtape. It's a mixtape, right? Yeah. 
um, and the EP Agenda 21 and all that, when you listen to it together, would you say that you've reached another level when you released your newest one? Like, did you change or, you know, because there's always space to improve as an artist, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, yeah. I f- yeah, I felt like it improved. I listened to the first mixtape I dropped, and that was dope. And then when I dropped the second one, I heard, like, how, like, I was changing, you know, I was evolving more. And I felt like the second one was, like, the best one I created so far. But the third one that I got coming right now, yo, like, <laughs> y'all ain't ready. Your gut, More yeah. fire. Yeah, you already know. So you write your own songs, right? Yeah, I don't need nobody to write my music for me. I, I can do it. You mm-hmm. know? I can do it. What's your songwriting process? My songwriting process, most of the time I write when, like, I'm bored or when I'm not working. Sometimes I write at work as well. You know, like, I just listen to a couple of beats that I got. And I like to write when I'm off the substance, though. But that's just, like, liquor or, or marijuana or something like that. It helps you with your creativity. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> um, how do you overcome creative blocks? Take a break. Just take a break. Take a nap. You know, watch a little Dragon Ball Z. That's what I do. I watch Dragon Ball Super. I'm an anime fan. <laughs> I don't care what people say. You know, I watch anime. I like Marvel movies, DC, but my favorite is Marvel, you know. I usually just watch those and I listen to other songs and stuff like that that I made. And most of the time, what I usually do, I don't just write a new song. I usually go back to the song that I made mm-hmm. and just work on it because I like to, and you know, add a few things in there. Mm-hmm. Gotta make it real dope for the listeners, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, what what song of yours do you think has um, a real meaning, like, that could help some of your fans? Uh, well, actually, one. Yeah. One. One has a, a big meaning. That's a song that took me a month to write. Mm-hmm. That one has a really big meaning, you know? It's, it's really talking about, like, don't, like, people that you don't trust, really, don't let them around you, you know? You gotta keep your circle small. I realized that uh, during my first relationship that it's not really too good to have too many friends because when you have too many friends, that means too many people talk. And when too many people talk, that just... Too much drama. Yeah, too much drama. You just crash and burn, you know? Mm -hmm. So I realized that, like... I just realized that, basically, you just need to keep your circle small. Like, I got, like, three friends. Three friends, and that's it. That's all I need. I don't need no more than that, you know? Would you uh, sign to a major label if they were to give you a deal, or would you rather be independent see like i would love to have a deal but the thing that's tricky about a deal is that there's a deal and then there's a deal under the deal you know (laughs) there's there's never just a deal like when you sign to a label they give you the money Mm -hmm. but you have to make that money back with your music exactly so it's like let's say they give you okay you sign this deal you get three million that three million you can think that it's yours but when you spend that three million, they're gonna be like, "Yo, where's my three million? You exactly, know, you, yeah. what you doing right now? You know." So I'd rather be independent. Yeah, it's very tricky. Uh, what are your musical influences? Oh, yo, my number one, number one is Travis Scott for sure. He's sick. I Travis love him. Scott. Travis Scott is my, yo. Travis Scott is my number uno. My, you know, honcho. <laughs> that, you know, then it's Travis. Then I got Quavo. I like Offset too, but I like Quavo more because of the melodies he does. Mm-hmm. Then there's Chris Brown. You know, I like. I know some people hate on Chris Brown, but y'all, you can hate I on love him. him. But you know, don't hate on the album that he just dropped because that was fire. Mm-hmm. Who else? Uh, I like Bryson Tiller as well. And uh, Future. Yeah, Future? those are like my top main guys, basically. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you balance your music with other obligations like your job and uh, do you have a girlfriend now and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, I have a you know I have a wife. You know we married. You know, <laughs> shout out to my wife. Actually, yeah, we married. Oh, okay. no, we're not. Oh, okay. But like, you I know, was like, <laughs> like congratulations. <laughs> no, no, it's getting there. It's getting there though. But yeah, I got myself a girl and like I usually don't go to the studio that much. Like I usually go like probably twice a month. Mm-hmm. But like the thing when I go. I make I record like two songs, so it's let's say I go twice a month. That's four songs for that month. Then another four songs, and another month. That's another four songs. So basically, like the mixtape is practically done. You know, mm-hmm. usually when I'm not feeling it, then I go and record one. But most of the time, it's usually two songs in like an hour. So okay, yeah, yeah. If you could choose to work with either a local or already established artist, 
who would it be and why? A local artist from here? Yeah, or it's already established in the States and stuff. Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Travis Scott. Honestly, Travis Scott, I just feel like like we have the same vibe, you know? Like He's like a party animal, and I'm like a party animal, too. I, li- I like to party, you know? Mm-hmm. Who doesn't like to party? Exactly, yeah. Like, I'm always lit. He's always lit. And I feel like if we were to chill, like, yo, we'd be the best of friends, like brothers, you know, practically. <laughs> yo, Travis, I hope you're watching this, you know. <laughs> one day. One day, one day. Um, would you say that you're focused on becoming a big rapper in the industry? Yeah. How do you, like, what do you respond to people that ask you, like, oh, do you have a backup plan in case it doesn't work and stuff like that? My backup plan? They don't need to know what the next move is. <laughs> That's that's what people need to understand. Why do y'all worry about me so much? Why you think about me so much when I only think about you? You know, it's like, don't worry about what the backup plan is. If my plan doesn't work, I obviously got something else. Mm-hmm. But if I was to tell them, they would probably be like, oh, that's not going to work. You know, I don't need that negativity. Right. So might as well do it on my own. And if I see that it flops, then, you know, that's, that's on me. That's on me. I don't need nobody's advice. Like, everybody needs a backup plan. But I feel like, I feel like you can make it. Yeah, and I, I, I feel like I can make it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need no doubters right now. I don't need <laughs> no doubters. I feel like I can make it. I know I can make it. Nobody can tell me otherwise. Positivity is the key. That's all you need. Um, did you ever get vocal trainings? Nah. Like in uh, your track, all about yeah. you sing, right? Well, it's like. Uh, or do you rap and you add auto tune? It's like sing rap kind of. Yeah. Like, you know, like, uh, I don't know. How, I don't know how to explain it. It's like rap sing, basically. Rapsing. Like, you, you're rapping, but, like, you can hear, like, oh, there's, like, vocals in there. Yeah, because you, know? you sound good you s- respect, when you respect. sing. Respect. <laughs> respect. True 89 down 1 FM, baby. We in it live. Hey. Um, do you have any plans for 2018? What's next for London Ziggs? Music videos. Music videos? Music do you have videos. any right now? I have, like three but they're not really official you know mm-hmm. like one w- one was f- one for one song was called blast that was filmed in like an hour and it was done in an hour so it wasn't really like you know the top-notch videos that you see mm-hmm. and then i had another one that was like a minute and 30 seconds and then i did one with a group of guys from gano you know unity nova shout out to them you know uh yeah, we, I did a couple track. I did a track with them, but I never. I had one music video by myself. That was Westworld, but like I didn't feel like that was my official video. Like my official video, the way I imagine it is like I'm talking about cameras. Is, this is this is looking like a movie. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like you go to the movies and you're like, "Cat, this guy's on the big screen." That's what I want my video to be like. So yeah, 2018. Just expect more music and more vi- music videos for sure. And you have to make sure that you get good like directors and stuff like yeah, that yeah, with sure. a good vision i'm my own director though i because i used to make funny videos back in the days like i already got like a sense of how to film and all that so basically like you plan on doing it yourself yeah well not by myself but like directing it just i because the guy who's gonna film i'm gonna tell him how i want it because mm-hmm. i already got like the concept you know so yeah that's basically i'm like my own director i don't like people telling me oh do this we should do that like, I already got an image in my head and how I want it, and that's how it's going to be, you know? That's good. I'm a visionary. That's how it should be. Always. Okay. By myself. <laughs> so, uh, rap for me? You know what? I'm just going to put my phone right here because people be like, oh, he's probably freestyle. He's probably writing this, reading it. Yeah, so, I know, I know. So, so I'm going to leave the phone literally right here. Me, it's off the top. Off the top, Matt's not hot. Even if you put me on the sun, Matt's never hot. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, mm, 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 mm. 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 yeah, when the money calling, I got places to be, take a vacation occasionally, these niggas, they all are like snakes to me, so when you speak, it's all make-believe, I'm killing top five so easily, you play in the streets like sesame, hoes will never get the best of me, it gave me mortality, money is money, I'll take it, I fuck with the ish and I'll buy me some acres, uh, backwards on backwards on backwards, I'm lighting this shit with the fire, cause I'm Jamaican, money is money, I'll take it, I fuck with this shit because it's a lifesaver, uh, backwards on backwards on backwards, I'm lighting this shit with the fire, cause I'm Jamaican, do not talk to me, come through so low clean, be so messy, off the top, man's never hot, uh, man's never hot, take off my jacket, but I'm not hot, 
When I come through on the parking lot Yeah, they know me on the block And I never stop, never ever stop Got a Glock, take shots, bang, bang I know you ain't really gang, gang, gang You know what I'm doing On the radio station I come through, trying to make myself a revelation uh, Preacher, preacher, man, I'm preaching this like a reverend Come through, I get your head seven Oh my God, I really need to get the check Like an assassin, I pull up behind you and slice up your neck uh, Cause I'm in it Yeah, cause I'm in it, in it Cause I'm in it Ooh. You tuning in to Chuo 89.1 FM, baby We in it, you live It's live, baby, live Hey. That was really good. Respect, respect, respect. Round of applause, round of applause, you know. I wish I had an audience. All right. Thanks very much, you know. I just want to, before, before I leave, you know, I just want to give shout outs to a couple of people. Go ahead. You know, I want to shout out, first, I want to shout out God, you know. Thank you, God. Allah Akbar, you know. Thank you for being there for me, guiding me on this path. Like, I love him so much. He's the greatest person to me. A great father figure as well, you know, when I didn't have one. He was always there for me. I also want to shout out my mom. My mom's a real MVP. Seven kids. She was holding it down. Oh. You you already know my mom's the my mom's a warrior, you know. Mm-hmm. She was holding it down for seven kids. I want to shout out to my girlfriend, you know, Nike. I love you, baby. Mm. baby. <laughs> you thicker than a snicker, baby. Mm. Mm. You know, shout out to my little brothers and sisters, you know, Quisha, Amar, Ishmael, Sophia, Nia, Malik. You already know I love y'all. I love y'all very much. You know, I'm always in it. You know, I'm going to make it one day. Shout out to my brother Dozo. Shout out to my brother Dozo. Yo, he's a, you, yo, watch out for Dozo, man. Dozo easy coming through. You know, shout out to my boy Young B. Shout out to my boy Blanco. Axe 100, K Mula. You know, shout out to my girl Nini. Shout out to my girl Sophia. You know, shout out to Young Steez. You know, shout out to Mo. You know, shout out to my peoples, them. You know, shout out to all y'all. I love y'all, man. Y'all support me. Thank real you. ones thank and yo you. shout out to Jamisha for having me as well you know yes. gang gang you know <laughs> thank you very much thanks for having me it was lit my first radio interview actually yes so like I, I enjoyed it you know and um I want to say thank you for being here and uh giving me your time yeah yeah I really appreciate it it was nice having you here no problem we out